The numbers are officially rolling in as the Portland Bureau of Transportation kicks off its annual bike count. Over the summer, they'll collect data from popular biking areas around town as numbers continue to show a downward trend in city bikers. Fox 12's Carly Olson is live at the Hawthorne Bridge with a look at what they plan to change this year. Carly. Well, Pete and Nora, there certainly has been a decrease in bikers in the city of Portland, despite the city's continued investments in biking infrastructure. But the bikers that we spoke with today told us, even though there are some aspects of the city that may discourage people from biking, it's not enough to get them off the roads. For some, it's a tried and true method. I've been uh, commuting to work since 1985. I've been biking in the city as long as I've been working downtown, so uh, 10 plus years now. Portland is one of the top bike cities in the country, with around 17,500 bikers regularly hitting the streets last year. But according to the Portland Bureau of Transportation, that number is down 37% from the year 2019. And bikers we spoke with said they weren't surprised. Some of the homeless issues along the, the trails, I think, intimidate people. Unfortunately, the crime and, you know, all the, the issues that you see coming in are, you know, kind of lower in numbers, I, I think. I think most folks who bike commute in this city long enough eventually get, you know, bumped by a car here or there. I've, I've had a few minor incidents. That's where Portland Bureau of Transportation hopes to make a change. We are hearing concerns about safety, uh, different dimensions of safety. Their annual bike count started on Tuesday and runs through September, with volunteers tracking the number of bikers, e-bikers, scooters, and skateboarders across 300 counting sites. We can see over time how people's transportation choices are changing and how we can uh, invest better to meet those needs and help everyone uh, bike safely and uh, meet their daily needs uh, through biking and walking and taking public transit. Bikers agreed there's room for improvement, but the overall progress has been massive. Portland went from being one of the worst cities to cycle in in 1985 to one of the best. And, and that's, that has to do with the city and, and the bike community that pushed that. The city's focus on biking infrastructure comes after the city council passed a plan in 2010, which had the goal of getting at least 25% of trips within the city on bikes by the year 2030. In downtown Portland, I'm Carly Olson for Fox 12 Oregon.